Hey folks, my name is Nick Drake. I'm the pastor of Richland Baptist Church here in Kingdom City, Missouri, and I wanted to just share with you this morning a, a quick preview of what we're looking forward to this coming Sunday as I'm going to be starting a new sermon series through the Old Testament book of Micah. And we're going to be talking as we go through this book together over the next uh, six weeks or so. Uh, we're going to be talking about walking in humility. You see, Micah, the book of Micah, is about God's judgment. And so we're going to look at God's judgment, and then how do we respond to God's judgment? Well, if we respond rightly, we respond in humility because we recognize the fact that God is always in control and He is perfect in His justice and in His mercy, that He's perfect in both. And so we need to walk in humility before Him, and not only before God, but before others. If we take into consideration God's judgment and who He is and the fact that He is always in control, that He is sovereign and over all things, including this pandemic that we're in the midst of, then the right response to him is humility and even the way that we treat others ought to be done in humility as we consider the truth of who God is and what he expects of us. And so uh, we're going to go through these seven chapters in this, in this great Old Testament book as we consider the prophet Micah's words to us by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to talk about recognizing God's judgment. We're going to talk about accepting God's judgment. We're going to talk about responding rightly to God's judgment. We're going to talk about finding hope, even in the midst of God's judgment. How do we find hope? We're going to talk about realizing the rescue that we get from God's judgment. That's where the hope is. It's, it's in recognizing the rescue we have. And we're going to talk about how, to, how do we prepare for God's judgment? How can we be prepared? And, and we'll talk about worshiping the God who is the God of judgment. That sounds kind of strange, perhaps, but that's the reality for us uh, as we consider the truth of of the amazing God that we serve. And so ultimately, of course, all of this comes down to the fact that the only way to, to fully not only understand, but more importantly, to be prepared for God's judgment is by having a relationship with Jesus Christ. And so we know that, as Paul said in 2 Corinthians, all of the promises of God have their yes in Christ Jesus. So Jesus is coming again. He's going to return a second time to this earth to judge the living and the dead. And so to be prepared for God's judgment, even the judgment that is alluded to in the book of Micah, we have to know the one who is the judge over all, the King of kings and Lord of lords, and that's Jesus Christ. And the only way to, to know him is to surrender to him as Savior and Lord, to turn away from our sins and to trust in what he did on the cross when he died in our place. He, he died to take away our sins. He, he took the punishment that we deserved when he died on the cross for our sins. And then he rose from the dead and he defeated sin and death. And so anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Anyone who turns from sin and trusts in Jesus and who he is and what he's done for us receives salvation from sin, salvation from death, eternal life with our great God. The God who is perfect in his justice. And so there is judgment for those who don't know him, but also our God who is perfect in his mercy. And so he showers that on all, indiscriminately, all who would call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. And so I pray that as we go through this week and as we get ready for our outdoor worship celebration on Sunday morning, as we consider gathering together as a body of believers, again, it's, it's looking like right now it's going to be a beautiful, not as hot as this past Sunday, it's going to be a beautiful Sunday morning and uh, with the sun shining and only in the low 70s. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to a great time of worship together with my church family. And I hope that you are as well. I think it'll be a great time to consider the truth uh, that, that applies not just today in the midst of this pandemic, but really applies all the, all, all the time, every day. And that's the reality of God's judgment for sin. But at the same time, the great mercy of God that is seen in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I look forward to starting this series Sunday morning and look forward to you worshiping with us here with Richland Baptist Church and uh, looking forward to being encouragement to one another. I need your encouragement. I hope that uh, you recognize your need for the encouragement of, of one another as well and that we would long to, to be together to worship him and to respond rightly to the truth of who God is and who he's called us to be. Looking forward to seeing you Sunday morning. Have a great day in the Lord. God bless you.